fast track, gets a head coaching job just like that. Now, he played there, though. That's the unique thing. He's gone back home. He knows the ownership, the McNair family. Uh, now, he walks in the door, and he does not have the talent that some other coach, like Sean Payton, inherits. He walks in the door with no quarterback, one of the worst offenses in the NFL, does inherit a pretty good young defense. He also gets draft picks two, draft picks 12, first round. They're going to have to go get a quarterback, and they're going to go get a quarterback. I don't know whether that quarterback is going to be the Alabama youngster, Rush Young, or whether it's going to be C.J. Stroud, or whether they're going to trade back and stockpile more assets. Let somebody else have one of those quarterbacks. We'll go get a multitude of players to try to fix the offense. Uh, but but he comes highly regarded, and San Francisco, what, what was their calling card this year? Defense. Going to beat the hell out of you. Yeah. We're going to – we're going to bang on you until you yell uncle. And I think that he'll, his philosophy is going to have immediate impact on a really young athletic Houston defense. It was pretty competitive. And then obviously they're going to go into free agency because they have cap space and go into free agency and they're going to through their draft picks and maybe they stockpile more picks. They'll go good get more offensive players. So right guy going home familiar with the organization. So, most everybody I've canvassed said really, really good hire. And he came, he came out of nowhere as a candidate in a 12 month window. He went from just an assistant and then a defensive coordinator to becoming a head coach. So good for him. Yeah. He's an impressive young man. So yeah, he's going to have a great opportunity there in Houston, but let's just say you're, you're in charge of the, uh, the Texans franchise and you've got that number two pick. What are you going to do with that pick? Are you going to take one of those quarterbacks? Are you going to draft back uh, or slot back? Or are you going to take one of the quarterbacks? And which one do you think you're going to be able to get? Well, I think we, we have to see what happens with Chicago, which holds the number one pick. They're not going to take a quarterback because they invest a lot of money in Justin Fields and he has to prove himself yet. But Chicago could be making phone calls and to anybody that needs a quarterback, you want number one, we'll trade you the number one pick. Uh, you give us your number one and you give us a number two or maybe a a two and a three or maybe a one this year and a one next year. Sh Chicago is the one that really holds the cards as to what would happen. Uh, if Chicago drafts, and they need help everywhere, if Chicago drafts Alabama's linebacker, if Chicago drafts the top offensive lineman on the board, uh, if Chicago drafts a great wide receiver, then – at number two, I think Houston takes whichever they think is the best quarterback. I tend to think it's a kid from Alabama mm -hmm. because he's played in a lot more big games. He is He's part and parcel of what we see in the NFL now with this new wave of quarterbacks. Can be a pocket passer, can move the pocket, can run, can create on the run. I'm not going to say he's Patrick Mahomes, but he shows some of those dimensions. So I, I would think that the Alabama quarterback has to be the lead guy. C.J. Stroud tailed off the second half of last season when he lost his running game at Ohio State and his numbers dropped. There's no doubt that he's a great player. I'm a little suspect, though, because Ohio State has had a lot of quarterbacks recently drafted, and I've not seen none of them develop into anything really special. So I don't know if the kids at Ohio State might be good athletes, but they excel because Ryan Day's system allows them to excel versus being a great talent who can go do everything. I think the Alabama quarterback far and away – is the number one quarterback on the board. And he might be with the Houston Texans and D'Amico Ryans. Yeah. I mean, this is an exciting time for that franchise. They got nowhere to go but up. But yeah, Alabama has produced a lot of really good quarterbacks. Even recently, Ohio State, you're right. They've struggled when they've gotten to the next level. So um, things are changing in the NFL. On we go. 